What's up, Ryman Gaijin? Um, I just came back from Tokyo Immigration, and what a trip! All right, so I filed for my extension. I got to do this every year, so I filed for an extension on Monday, and I was waiting for the paperwork to come from my company. I got that this morning or this afternoon, so. I was gonna go, but yesterday, before I got the application papers and all that, um, Tokyo Immigration called me at eight o'clock. They close at 4 p.m. They called me at eight o'clock, and you know I was sitting there making beats, right? Boom, boom, boom. Phone rings, and it's a number I don't know. Usually I'd be like, who this? But nowadays I'm in Japan. It could be like somebody talking some business. It could be someone at work. So I'm like, hello, mosh mosh. And they're like, Tokyo Immigration. I'm like, why are they calling me? So I've stopped the music. And um, I pick up the phone, I'm like, hello. Dude's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm at my house. He's like, where are you? I'm like, uh, Ikabukuro. He's like, what are you doing? Thing. Like he was asking these weird questions. One, so then he's like, you know, your visa expired or your application. He's talking about that. So he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm waiting. Wait for the papers to get done. And then when I said I'm waiting, dude's like, <laughs> waiting. Like I'm trying to overstay my visa or something. Like I'm hiding from the law. And I give them the phone number so they can find me, you know? If I'm hiding, you ain't gonna be able to reach me. So then he's, he continues to ask me these stupid ass questions. What are you doing? So finally he's like, you're an English teacher. I'm like, yeah. He's like, you don't speak Japanese. I was like, no. So then he gives the phone to someone who does speak English. So I, I don't understand that whole, cause it was fun, we're going back and forth of what, so anyway, this English speaking Japanese person gets on there and they're like, you know, what are you doing? I explained to him that I filled out my application on Monday. I'm waiting for my company to send the papers so I could fill in the rest. It's gonna come tomorrow. And she's like, well, there's a, some issues with your paperwork. It's not completed. I'm like, I know, I'm waiting for my company to send it. They're in Osaka. She's like, what, do you live in Osaka? I said, no, I live in Tokyo. She said, then what? And we're just going around and around. I'm like, all right, hold up, hold up. Call my company. So I, actually, we're on the phone. So I'm like, hold on. And I call my company like, yo, immigration just called me in there. They're tripping, yo. Well, I didn't say it like that, but I'm like, can you talk to them? And then she's on the other line, hello, hello. And I'm like, chow, 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 chow. so finally, I'm like, all right, they're gonna call you. She's like, okay. I'm like, Here's a, my number to the company, please call them, okay. So then they call the company, then the company calls me back like, they just want to know why the, the visa was, the application was not completed, I explained to them. So then I was like, all right. And then she's like, well, you should have got the paper today. Cause you know, I saw, I made that video saying I'm gonna do the, go to the immigration tomorrow, but I didn't get the paper so I couldn't go. So then she calls up the mail company like, did you send the, uh, did, he, did you send the mail? They're like, no. So we'll send it tomorrow. And I'm just like, why didn't they send my application papers? Cause she, the company sent it like express. I got it like a regular. So they should get their money back. So, all right, so I get to Tokyo Immigration. I hand her the papers and for the most part, everything went smooth. I mean, I really don't like going to immigration every year to do this thing. Last year, the company did it for me. That was cool, but uh, they still got my diploma. And I called them up like, yo, do you got my diploma? And they're like, well, uh, you don't need your diploma, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, give me my damn diploma. Cause you know, they'll get a replacement diploma is like 60 bucks to send that shit back to Japan. So please give me my diploma. They still didn't give it to me yet. So I had to do a little photocopy. 
which is iffy, but when I got there, they took it, no problem. Yeah. So, um, so, so far everything is okay, I guess. Cross your fingers. All right. Um, I told people if they had any questions, I would ask immigration on your behalf. I only got one question, which I'm not too upset about because them lines were huge. When I went to go wait in the line, it was like, like 30,000 people there. So I only had to ask one question. So uh, the question was, how do you self-sponsor your, how do you do the, you see the wind blowing and stuff? All right, how do you sponsor yourself, self-sponsorship? No company, no marriage, no army, just you, self, you sponsor yourself. And that's what I asked. And dudes like, uh, you gotta fill out this form, this form, this form. They're all in Japanese. I will copy that and I will email it to you because it's all in Japanese. And it's complicated looking as all hell. But yeah, if you're all about it, I'll send it to you or I'll leave it as a link on my website. Um, I also, for all you musicians out there and DJs and producers, singers, artists and all that, they got a visa for us, an entertainment visa. So I was trying to get some information about that, but all they had was the forms, which are also in Japanese, and it didn't have the requirements. But in both cases, I think it's, uh, you're sitting on some money. So you are like making lots of money and you could prove it. I don't think they would not let you become, use that type of visa. If you're just like doing what I do, teaching in the day, doing music at night, trying to switch your visa, I don't think it's gonna work. But as I said, I'm not a visa expert and no one asked me specifically about music. So that's here nor there. All right, so um, does anybody remember this? Uh, this, 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 this video, the scenery. Like two years ago, I did the same kind of video. It's like, it's like deja vu. All right, Rhyming Gaijin, peace.